Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're taking a little break from the hospital. I don't want to do like all of the episodes back to back because you'll just get bored of it and I'll get a little bit burnt out. So we've come over to the other side of the city where we've still got this one little plot remaining. You guys have sent in loads of ideas and in the end I went with two ideas. I couldn't pick one so I thought oh, I'll pick two small ones and sort of put them together so over this side of the city we've got a lot of houses we've got these houses here we've got these sort of apartment buildings here these ones here, these skyscrapers some of these are going to be residential ones um some are going to be business ones but what's missing there's no shop there's no shop this side of the city. I literally think the closest place to get food in this part of the city is the McDonald's, which is just sort of near the skate park area. So there's a skate park. I think the McDonald's is about there. It just hasn't loaded in, which is quite a way. It's definitely not within a comfortable walking distance. And apart from that, all of the other food spots are, are sort of on the, on the coast side there, on the west coast. So I think... In one half of it, we're going to do uh, just a little sort of corner shop style thing. You know, uh, what, what, like a 7-Eleven, I suppose you call them in America. You know, these sort of, uh, not garages, but like you can get your, your, your some, some main amenities in there. Some snacks and things like that. And then on the other half, I thought, what haven't we got in the city? And someone suggested a betting shop. And I thought, ah, oh, that would be like a, a bet Fred or, or what are the other ones? I can't remember what the other, I, I don't do any betting. Um, I'm not a betting person, not a gambling man. Oh, with it. But I thought with it being so close to the uh, stadium here, I nearly called it a football stadium, but it's not, it's not technically a football stadium because we've got different middles that we can put in it. It's just a stadium. Uh, we could have a little bet shop. It's nearby. You could bet on the, on the teams, on who's playing or what sport it is. I think it could be a, a good little sort of area. And both of these types of buildings really suit the area. It's a little bit of maybe a rundown area. You know, we've got the boxes, we've got the homeless camp just down the road. These apartments are very small apartments. It's going to be very noisy with a, a high street or, or a highway on one side and the train track on the other side. So it's, it's not going to be the quietest apartment and they're going to be very, very um, uh, no uh, small. So It'll be a sort of cheap, low-income area. We've got a lot of works going on over the road by this skyscraper. It's a little bit dark and dingy. So uh, a, a betting shop and a little sort of simple corner shop, I think would make a lot of sense. This pole is going to have to go. There is no point in this being here. And I don't think it's going to impede the structure of the bridge all that much. I don't think you'll even notice that it's gone. I mean, it's just sort of from there to there. And it, both of the buildings are very short or can be very short. So, I also want to build them not sort of um, out of the same blocks. I want them to be two separate buildings. So, we'll make one brick, we'll make one clay, and then we'll want a little bit of sort of a detail block in there. Maybe cyan with the clay one, and red with the brick. So, make two different buildings. We'll just sort of set one forward and one back. I think the betting shop could be maybe the, the one that's set back. So if we, it's only going to be one block by one block anyway. If we go about halfway with the corner shop, I think I've, um, I think I've been in a betting shop once, but uh, it's, it's, I never put any bets on it. It was just like a load of panels and a load of like really quite funky looking machines, and um, I never really <laughs> understood what to do or, or, or anything. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, a fun thing. I, I can see why why it's fun. Um, I just I, I'm like probably the most, the least I should say, riskiest person you can get. Like I am really tight with my money. Like I don't like spending money. I, I prefer to save money for a rainy day or until I find something that I really I really want. So like possibly risking money on something that really is isn't guaranteed um i've never it's never really appealed to me at all uh, i don't need that one going along there technically so yeah oh also i'm uh there's been a youtube update recently 
and I think I'm going to leave that down there. There's been a YouTube update recently, and I haven't really spoken about it, uh, and it is quite uh, quite the large update. So uh, there's been a change to ads again. It's like the uh, second or third ad apocalypse that's been going on. You probably, you guys probably know more than, about it than uh, than I do because I don't really look into it all that much. Um, but uh, basically, there's been a change in in the laws somewhere, uh, which has required the YouTube channels, all YouTube channels, to declare whether their content is made for adults or if it's made for kids. And at first, I thought, oh, you know, that's going to put Minecraft YouTubers, some gaming YouTubers, but, but mostly Minecraft YouTubers, in a bit of a predicament. Because at the end of the day, when all is said and done, Minecraft is probably going to be classed as a kid's game. It just is, no matter how old I am, no matter how old the average um, Minecraft player is. I think literally the, the average Minecraft player is like 26 or something like that. It's like a ridiculously uh, sort of old, if you like, <laughs> number for for a game such as this. But that's it's because YouTube has made it like that. Um, so, so I thought, oh, well, what does this mean? So I looked a little bit into it, and basically, any channel that is declared for kids and not for adults uh, is going to be hit extremely hard with ad revenue. They're not going to be able to um, earn anywhere near as much as what they used to. Now, for me, again, it's not really a problem because I don't really earn all that much in the first place. I do this purely because uh, I want to and when I don't want to do it anymore I'll stop um, but I don't upload oops yeah, I got it here I don't upload enough videos to really earn uh, considerable money um, I don't uh, really try to make content which is gonna uh, bite and be viral or anything like that uh, like 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 all, all the big videos that happen at the moment and stuff I, I'm not really all that interested in I just like to make content that I enjoy. However, I don't want to get too heavily uh, hit by it. And there's more negatives as well to having a, chid, uh, a kid, uh, what was the, what's the word, uh, aimed, if you like, related content. And it's, it, it disables the, dis <laughs> disables the comments. Um, I think it disables comments. I think it disables likes and dislikes. It disables the notification bell, if you wanted to get notified on when videos are being uploaded it, it impacts the channel hugely and uh, i certainly don't agree with with a lot of that uh, i like although i don't get huge amounts of comments on my videos those of you that do comment i really appreciate it and i always read so um having that taken away is a little bit harsh but then i thought going back to is minecraft child friendly content uh, it's it's not a hundred percent and I don't think in my case certainly it's not the techniques that we use and, the, and my video style um, isn't aimed towards children I I think if you're a child and you're watching my videos you're probably gonna get a little bit um, stuck a lot of the time uh, my, my content is, is aimed a little bit too high I think um, so my channel is declared as, as not for children. Some people might agree, some people might disagree. And then another thought came to me. I thought, well, what, what would definitely be considered uh, child content? And then I sort of realized what YouTube is getting at with their, with their child-friendly content thing. It's, a, it's the videos that I've, I never really see at all. It never recommends to me or anything like that. I don't think it's designed to, though. I think that's what it is. Um, it's the content that is like kids, music, nursery rhymes, toy reviews, things like that. That's all aimed towards kids. And when, when you think of it that way, I don't think any, I don't think any gaming channel in general is aimed towards kids i think uh it, it's those nursery rhyme ones it's the ones where they do sort of role playing um and, and you know very sort of cbbc we would call it in the uk which is like a 
a kid's show, a, a kid's um, TV channel, not show, it's a TV channel. Um, and that's what I think YouTube is getting at with kids' content. I really don't think it's aimed towards um, gaming content or, or, or anything like that. So I think I'm safe. I might be wrong. I might end up getting banned if, if, they, if, if YouTube's idea of kids' content is different to my perception of kids' content. But, uh, I mean, the way that I talk to you guys, the way that we interact... Um, certainly isn't isn't kid oriented we, we we just um we use minecraft as a platform to be able to talk to each other um but i mean I, i'd like to see any any kid and, and by kid i'm talking like five and six do anything like what we do and and talk about the stuff that we talk about I'm very open on my channel very, I'm, I'm always very um uh very open with stories things that are happening in my life and and, and things like that so uh I, I'm, I want to be able to keep that and if the channel gets silenced by being kid content we don't get that anymore i i certainly wouldn't enjoy youtube at all if i had no interaction with you guys or if i only had interaction through other forms of social media through um facebook and twitter and stuff i mean i, I respond to uh people that tweet me on twitter and stuff asking questions and and things someone asked uh, literally a couple of weeks back if i uh, i'm going to bring back uh, back uh, survivor minecraft reply to them people are always contacting me on facebook and uh, i reply as much as i can on there uh, to people that's the best place to send me screenshots of your worlds or ideas and things like that um it's really easy on facebook to be able to um view pictures and stuff you don't have to be following each other or anything silly like that you can just send a picture to me uh, and it's great i think all my uh, details are in the description below if you wanted to have a chat with me or, or ask me anything that's where you'll find me <laughs> okay so i've been chatting away here while we've just been sort of putting the structure up for the buildings we need to have and i it's gonna be a, a really boring video but we do need to have a video soon on roofs um I was flying around, or I always fly around, between episodes, and uh, I've noticed that on the tops of a lot of buildings now, uh, they're just really empty, there's nothing going on, on any of them. I like to put these little air conducts and stuff, it gives shape, it gives something interesting to look at, uh, but especially over that side of the city, a lot of the roofs over there are very flat, and, um, and, and just not interesting. So we, we really need to improve that. Sort of like how we done a nighttime episode where we put all the lights on. On basically, I, I'd say nearly a third or a third of the city. We need to do the same thing with um, with roofs. I don't think that'll take as long though. But it'll be a really boring video. So I'm really unlikely to, <laughs> to do it on camera. I don't know. I might. If I can find a way to make it interesting, then I will. Oh yeah, we'll use red. A little bit of red there. And then I think a little bit of, I think I'll do it in wool though. Red and white wool. Oops, that's orange. Red and white wool here. Okay, there we go. So I'm thinking big blue sign here that would say bet. That's maybe a little bit too big. Maybe we um, maybe we shrink shrink it down by a block or two. I'll fix the roof in a minute. I think that's a better shape. Maybe um, walls on either side just sort of tapers it off a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little bit funny. I can imagine that's that having the big betting sign on there. I've put a window in, but I've blacked it off. And that's because this is meant to be like a TV screen where they show um, like the odds of the uh, upcoming football matches, boxing matches. Uh, KSI, Logan, woo, KSI. Um, uh, you know all, all that kind of thing and then the tv just sort of flashes through uh all, all the different bits they usually have like some things on the door as well or, or you know on the wall like written in pen and stuff and then a little corner shop here and a little window that you can sort of pop your head into i think that's going to work i reckon we can do an interior though let's start with this gambling one because i think this is going to be the uh the little quickest one uh can i really you know what i'm not really bothered about those clay blocks showing either doesn't really bother me let's um 
I'm not going to get a night vision potion. We're going to put just the ceiling down and we'll get onto the lighting straight away. Uh, I think we're going to use slabs. And I think I want to use... I think I'm going to stick with these ones that I've got on me, actually. Yeah, we'll use these ones. So I'm going to put the slabs down here. The reason why I'm putting them on this height is so when we put... I think I'm going to use glowstone. They'll just pop down by half a block and look quite neat. I think that's the, uh, the idea here. Do, 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 do. Now again, I've got very, very limited knowledge on bookies, on, on, on betting shops. So we're going to have to use a little bit of imagination here, I think, to, uh, uh, to get what we're going to place in parts. Glowstone. And then we can see. Let's just evenly space out the glowstone here. One there. Oops. One there. One there. And one there. So it's like a, a two by two, two away from the, the walls there. That's plenty enough. Uh, for the floor, what are we thinking? A nice light color. Probably um, quartz, actually. Like that. Put a couple of those in. Okay, and now we need to basically half it, I think. I think this half where you walk in is where you're going to place your bets. And then behind here is going to be the desk with some windows that um, you sort of take your bets through. So if you do that, that'll be the door. This will be the ceiling, or like the wall with the ceiling. Like that. And then I think I want it like, oh, that spaces out quite nicely actually. Glass, I want white glass. And I'm going to put it on the top half, almost like these slide down. Sort of like a bank, how you'd like imagine banks to be. But they can slide the window down when they close or if they don't want to um, talk to the person that they're dealing with, whatever. I'm going to neaten this screen up. I'm going to imagine that this screen is a TV on both sides. So the clerks can also uh, see that kind of thing. We'll get some chairs. Yeah, I think some normal chairs down here will be nice. Um... I'd really like a desk in front of this as well. Let's put the chairs here. Three bookies. And then I want a desk. To do that, I think I'm going to use upside down stairs. Not quartz though. Maybe we'll go with black. Yeah, that looks quite neat. Through there. I'm going to take that one away. Um, book and quill. Whatever you call it. No, no, not that one. What's, what's it called? The one that we can place the book down. Book. That one. Lecter. Uh, or, or yeah. I think it's just called book. Put a couple of those down so they can sort of write them. I know there'd be computers. Can I put a painting behind that, actually? That would be really useful. It almost could be like a keyboard then. I can't. That would be amazing. I could put it up here, though. If I can get... Yes, perfect. Ah, I had it. <laughs> I got... My fingers got too excited. I don't want that one. Yes, and three seats, three TVs just makes sense. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we've got those down. Take the bookings there. Um, at the back here, we'd, uh, we, we'd, we need a safe, like a, a safe safe, a, a safe safe door. Need a nice iron door to go in here with a player sensor to get through. This side. I love that. I love that. Uh, do we have a safe? Oh, that would be cool if we actually had a safe. Um, maybe ATM. Oh, no, we'll have ATMs on the outside. I'll get that one. Yeah. We'll um, we'll put that on the, on the outside. What could I use as a safe? I mean, I could use a chest. But, I mean, it's a little bit... It's a little bit eh, isn't it? How would you do a chest? Uh, a safe. Oh, what about... Oh, no, I can't use a dispenser because we changed the front of that. Oh, and a chest. We'll get that, certainly. I don't know how you'd make, like, something that looks like a safe. Where they keep the money uh, overnight and stuff, you know. Th that mailbox sort of looks a little bit of my, like my safe at work. You sort of drop it in and then you can't get it back until someone else comes with the, uh, a second key. Hey, what about 
what about if we we could go a little a little bit crazy here it'd be a little bit creative a rail and the minecart with a hopper and then we squish it we, we squish something in and we just have the sort of edge of it out i don't know if it'll work but let's 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 try a piston we'll want a lever we'll want um some iron block i think is going to be the most safety looking block so if we done that that i'm going to put an iron block there and there i'm going to put the piston there i'm going to squish it in Now, where is that? Is it in there or is it in the wall? I bet you it's in the wall, isn't it? I bet it pushed it into the wall. It pushed a block out. Ah. Okay. Um, that didn't work then. Well, well, it sort of did, but I can access the safe from the outside, which um, probably isn't a good idea. Oh, it's because the rail was still there. That's what it was. That's what we done wrong. I thought, why, why would the entity push that? That's fine. Okay. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Take away the rail. Take away the rail. How am I going to take away the rail? How do you do that? How do people do that? <laughs> nope. Um, I don't know how to take away the rail. Ah, no, no, I know, I know. We do it like this. Boom. Yes. Being creative up in here. Get an iron block back. Uh, I lost the lever. A lever. Okay. Squish. Take away. Take away. A uh, little bit of a lighting thing going on. But we can access this. And uh, we've got some space for, for money and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, little bit creative, little bit different, but I think for us guys who know what it what it is, in fact, we could put a sign on here. Safe. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, um, more paintings. I want, um. I want another TV. You know, well, that could do there, to be honest. And then posters. Upcoming boxing matches. Oh. Mm, no, I want... No, not a double one. I want one like that, but the one with the... The one with the... Um, no, not that one. The flowers. Isn't it flowers, I think? Can we get it? You know, if that creeper one comes up again, we're going to keep it with the creeper one. It's between... I'm not, I'm not going to... Yeah, that one. Perfect. And then just a single, a single one there. Yeah. Okay. So they're like up, upcoming fights and stuff like that. That might get you interested. On this side, I want a little carpet. We'll go with a blue to sort of match the sign out, out the front. On there. Just sort of indicates where to stand. Then I want, um, I want a couple of ATM machines. Maybe three ATM machines. And I'm going to use these ATM machines, which we don't actually use in the game we just use ender chests as our ender chest uh, as, as our atms because it's just simpler everyone has access to it but um there is a mod that we've got that has has these and you can actually deposit money in uh, and you can deposit your card and stuff like that but i think for this these will be like the betting machines if you don't want to go up to them you can use use the betting machine and i think that's pretty cool as well so for a base i think we'll use clay i think i want to have like now we'll use this, this cyan one on the bottom of that. A slab, I think, on the top of that. Maybe we'll go with quartz, a little bit white. On the bottom of these ATMs, we use this block and a button for like where you get your money out and stuff. It's just, I think that's, I think that's what I usually do. And we have a stair, I think it is on top that might be a little bit big slab it might be a slab i know we had I, we, we tried a couple of designs 
But yeah, I think that'll do. You can still open them up, you see. So your ATM machine's got those there. Uh, paintings, more paintings, more advertisement to try and hook you into it. Oh, a double one. Yeah, that'll do. On there. Well, that's quite weird. I'm sure we could use that somewhere. That's quite cool. I don't know what we could use it for. I'd like, I'd like another TV on this side. Just on those two. Horse racing is always a big one. We don't actually have a horse racing um, version for the stadium. That could be an idea. I don't know if it's big enough or dog racing even. We've got the um, the actual race track, the car race track, motorsport track. We could do bets on that. I think this is pretty cool, you know. I think this is pretty unique. I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft. That's pretty cool. I like that. Anything on the bottom of them. Yeah, maybe we just put that on there as well. Okay, um, uh, bench. No, what, what are they called? Couch. One nice wooden couch. The most uncomfy couch in the world. Just so you can sit down in a couple of spots in here while while waiting for your, your bet or whatever. We're in line. I think that's really cool. It's actually turned out better than I thought. The lights actually uh, work really well. It's nice and small, it's got work area, it's safe, it's like an iron door, like I can't open this unless unless I'm um, close to it, like the door won't activate, like if I try to, it's quite a, a useful little block, that player sensor, I th a player sensor would be amazing to have in, in vanilla Minecraft, it would be re a really cool tool, I don't know if they would do it quite in that way or if it would be a block, I suspect it would probably be a block, but it would work really well. All right, uh, I haven't got time to do the corner shop, but to be fair, we've just done a supermarket uh, where it's going to be very similar. We've done garages, and they're all very similar, so maybe we'll do it off camera. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe, and we shall see you in the next episode. Let me know in the comments section, by the way, about the uh, whole um, YouTube kids channels and things like that, uh, what your opinion is on it all. All right, guys, 